Don't say it. I'm gonna say it. Don't. But I wanna. Orange, you know the moment you say it, he's gonna pop out of the shadows or something. So don't say it. Don't say what? The word creepy pasta. Cause the moment we say it. Did someone say creepy pasta? <laughs> ah! Oh, it pleases me that you wish to hear another of my world famous creepy pastas. We actually don't. We just said. My latest creation is entitled Spider Cap. <laughs> oh, cool! Is Spider Man in it? Is Captain America in it? I'm afraid we couldn't afford them. But there is a hat. You like hats, don't you? Um, I guess. Of course you do. Now then, where was I? <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a young pair who was obsessed with fashion. When he heard about a new hat shop in town, Speederman's Hat Shop read the sign out front. The pair could tell it was a fancier establishment because of all the extra letters in the word shop. Excited, he rushed inside and was greeted with shelves and shelves of every type of hat he could possibly imagine. And even some he couldn't. Across the store, the purveyor of the shop, Mr. Speederman, spied the young pair perusing the rare hat section. Mr. Speederman asked the young pair if he was interested in seeing the most expensive hat in the store. Intrigued, the pair's eyes widened as Mr. Speederman produced a beautiful black and red box with what appeared to be air holes punched in the top. The pair was perplexed, but his hesitance quickly turned to excitement as the shopkeeper explained that the hat within was all the rage in Paris and Milan. The young pair could not wait to try on the hat within until the lid was opened and he saw what was inside. A gigantic, living, breathing spider. Now the young pair was beyond confused. This spider was a hat? Mr. Speederman explained that yes, the spider cap was the most cutting-edge hatware money could buy. The pair looked around the store to find a number of particularly fashionable patrons wearing spider caps as well. Fearing he might miss out on a smashing new trend, the young pair quickly handed over the considerable sum, signed a contract of some sort, then proudly placed his brand new spider cap upon his head. At which point, it plunged its fangs deep into the pair's head. The shopkeeper assured the pair that this was all perfectly normal. This way, the spider cap wouldn't blow away in the wind. The pair looked around, and sure enough, the other spider caps were secured in their owner's heads the same way. Soon, pair began to feel strange. He felt a slight itch on his back, and so he scratched it. And at that moment, he realized he was scratching his own back. This, of course, was surprising to him because he had no limbs. He rushed to a mirror only to discover that he had sprouted a long, hairy spider leg out of his body. Then another, and another. As Pear gazed into the mirror, he saw that he no longer had two eyes. He was growing additional eyes by the second. He again asked the shopkeeper if this was typical. The shopkeeper replied yes. Everything happening to the young bear was covered in the contract he had signed. The young bear opened his mouth to reply, but his tongue was gone. It had become mandibles. Bear darted for the door, trying to escape, but the shopkeeper was too fast. Mr. Speederman quickly and expertly trapped the young bear, or should I say, the young spider, inside a familiar looking red and black box with air holes punched in the lid. Outside the box, he could hear voices. A new customer had just walked into the shop and was asking to purchase a new spider cap. Ah! Well, that was a good one, creepy pasta. Yeah, you should definitely post it to the World Wide Web. <laughs> uh... That story really freaked me out. Just the thought of turning into a spider and, wait, where's Pear? Who cares, he was boring anyway. Hmm, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah.